The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Is he satisfied with progress in achieving his health policy? The Honourable uh, Tony Mr. Ryle. Mr Speaker, uh, yes, because overall we are making progress. Uh, however, we did inherit significant problems, such as a serious workforce crisis, declining real access to elective surgery, many patients travelling to Australia for cancer treatment and a health sector on track to financial crisis. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. When, if ever, will he step in to save the Otaihepi Health Services, where the midwife is losing her job, the rest home residents have been told to pack up and move out, despite the staff taking a massive pay cut in August of this year? When will he help the 40 staff the 27 older people in the hospital, the 130 women who use the midwifery services annually, and the 3,500 people registered with the primary health service. The Honourable Tony Wright. Uh, Mr Speaker, I've been in regular contact with the chair of the Whanganui District Health Board, Kate Joblin, and she chaired a meeting of residents in Taihapi last night. The DHB is uh, working to ensure the continuation of those health services in Thai Happy, other than aged residential. This includes primary health, maternity services, community nursing and allied health. This is expected to be determined within the next week. There is no uh, questions over home-based support and palliative care services which are not provided in Thai Happy through the Otai Happy Health Services Trust. When, if ever, will he step in to ensure that doctors' visits remain affordable, given that we've just seen an increase of $7.50 per visit for an under-17-year-old going to their GP in the Mana electorate, especially after he said in July that a $1 increase was justifiable? The uh, Honourable Tony Mr. Ryan. Speaker, Mr Speaker, practices that do put up their fees are required to notify the District Health Board and their PHO and neither the Capital Coast District Health Board or Compass Health have been advised of any increase on the magnitude of that claimed opposite. Uh, Eleven practices in the Mana electorate have increased their fees since April. Ten of those have increased their fees for the 6 to 17 age group. Eight of those ten have increased fees by $1 or less. One has increased by $1.50. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. When, if ever, will he acknowledge the true situation in health, with chief executives and DHB chairs leaving, saying they won't cut frontline services further, parents who can't afford to take their children to the doctor because of the $7.50 increase, and the thousands of people in Taihapi who are threatened with not just a cut, but the complete closure of their residential hospital, midwifery and primary health services. The Honourable Tony Ryan. Well, Mr Speaker, the fact is uh, some of the claims made by that member are unable to be supported by evidence. What can be supported is the fact that 20,000 New Zealanders are now getting elective surgery that they never got under the Labour yeah, Party. The, the vast majority, 99 per cent of New Zealanders are getting their cancer treatment within six weeks. And more and more New Zealanders are getting speedy treatment in our nation's emergency departments. Dr Paul Hutchison. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Health, what progress has the government made in improving services in Kenaparu Hospital in Mana? The Honourable Tony Ryle. <laughs> what a timely question. Mr Speaker, in the last two years, under the national-led government, the number of surgical procedures carried out at Kinapuru Hospital has increased by 57 per cent, and the number of outpatient consultations carried out has increased by 30 per cent. On top of these unprecedented increases in services, in the past two years at Kenaparu, the new government has introduced new services, including neurology clinics, general surgery and breast clinics, newborn hearing screening clinics, a four-bed observation unit in the surgical ward, anaesthetic pre-assessment clinics, pain management clinics, a psychiatric liaison service, 
haematology and chemotherapy outreach services. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Order. I've called the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Order. Order. I've called the Honourable Ruth Dyson. When, if ever, will he support people with diabetes and their families in Manawa too, who are this week in Diabetes Awareness Week, describing the cuts to their diabetes support as reprehensible and incredibly short-sighted? And if so, what is he going to do about it? Time the Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, I've spoken to the Mid Central District Health Board about that uh, change there. This is as a result of a contract coming to its natural conclusion and the services that were provided under that contract will now be provided under primary care who are being funded accordingly. The Mid-Central District Health Board has had a $13 million increase in funding this year under the national-led government. Question number five, Simon Bridges. Order.